I am going to be giving you some crucial tips I wish I knew sooner. As looking back at it, I wasted a lot of items and honey for no reason. So hopefully this helps you to not make the same mistakes. And this is for each game stage 2, so make sure to watch till the end to not miss out on anything. Although I do mention each game stage specifically, I still do think that most of the tips aren't really, you know, especially tied to each one of the game stages I just mentioned it in that stage because you know it just makes a bit more sense but I still do think that even for mid game you can look at the early game and end game tips because it's still going to help you out a lot and now let's start with early game so first what you want to do is save your diamond eggs and star eggs for diamond mask the star eggs for gifted mythics later and when you are actually using the star egg make sure you actually have every single be in your hive that's not mythic and event because it's basically going to give you any bee that you don't actually have in your hive right now so next if you just unlocked the 25b zone oh and i just fell okay mondo chick is a very good source of honey make sure to also do as many quests as you can while using a minimal amount of materials since you will want to save your materials to buy better gear or even saving stuff like you know stingers to actually buy the vicious bee but saving materials overall and next if you do need honey Honey at this stage, just use field boosters located in the HQs and the mountaintop field. Mythic Meteor Storm as well, by the way, if you can try and get someone to spawn it for you. If you can actually macro as well, Bubble Mask is way better than Honey Mask. But if you can't macro, Honey Mask is better. And that is due to Honey Mask's coin scatter feature. So you know the passive actually has. And give your first translator to either Riley or Buckobee. And it doesn't matter which first since you'll receive the second one shortly after but just don't give it to stickbug first since other people will be able to summon stickbug for you anyways and if you are debating between blue clay and red clay planters get red clay first since it will drop soft wax which is needed for other planters and when getting the gifted basic b use basic eggs because it's much more cheap to actually get the gifted basic b through basic eggs rather than getting it through star eggs oh yeah and make sure to just like not waste your festive beans and stuff as well by the way like don't because you're really gonna want to use it later so with marshmallow beans balloons stuff like that just please don't use it at an early stage because you're really gonna regret it when it comes to you know end game mid game and stuff like that even and after that getting the tabby bee first as your first event bee but also gifting it first as the first event bee then after that you can get photon bee or bear bee gifted if you have baby then gummy bee after then the crimson or cobalt bee i think it was and after that just you know whatever you want really please don't worry about going a hive collar as well this early on because i mean first of all you're not even going to be really a proper hive collar and second of all you're kind of going to struggle on doing the opposite hive collar quest like let's say for example you go red but you want to do blue hive quests well you're not really going to have that much bees with blue hive power probably and plus you don't even have SSA so there's no point so basically just stay in mixed hive literally just gifting bees and stuff as sort of said with the star egg collecting all the bees for SSA because what you're really going for as early game is you're overall just trying to save up for supreme star amulet and then when you actually do get SSA well I'll talk about it in a second as now for mid game going blue with pop star is your best option at the start when you first get SSA as it will be the cheapest with the best return on honey and if you cannot afford tadpole or buoyant bees yet then start with frosty and bubble bees but make sure to get more bubbles to increase your pop star and also since i am actually talking about the hive color you want to go first when you get ssa make sure to also get diamond mask before any other end game masks since you will most likely be starting as blue but if you guys do want to go any other hive color i mean just 
just good luck. If you guys are planning to just, you know, go blue first to make a bit honey and then switch colors. Well, what you want to do in that case is skipping the Tide Popper if you do plan on switching colors. Because the Tide Popper is not worth it for its price if you're only going to use it for a limited amount of time. Make sure to also not spend all your honey on SSA at once. Because if you have like, let's say 20 trillion for example, spend like 5 trillion in one day then the next day spend another 5 trillion or just spend 10 trillion on one day and the other 10 trillion again so you know 20 trillion in two days because maybe in that one day you're kind of unlucky or something or RNG just isn't with you. It's really never with me because I spent one quadrillion and never got anything, but okay. And now for end game, if you want to change colors to red or white, you will need enough mats to fully gift your hive, enough honey to get at least a four out of five SSA. That's Supreme Star Amulet if you don't know what it stands for. And you do want to have the required double passive and the corresponding end game tool. So make sure to have everything perfect and ready before you you even change hive colors because if you do actually change hive colors with like I don't know 10 trillion honey well you're first of all not really gonna have the best hive not really gifted fully not that much mutations not the best you know SSA and you're not just gonna make that much honey with it as well making you probably will want to quit the game unless you do know what you're doing and if you are switching to red or white hive as well get digital be fast as possible and start grinding white drive and red drives if you turn red because digital b is really really op with those digital tokens that spawn on the field that's really going to help you make honey and stuff in boost and that field corruption is going to be really really crazy now a nice tip as well is doing puff shrooms entire time really as and that can be done for end game or even mid game and actually as well maybe not entire time but most of the time you can do them because the puff shrooms will help you out with everything really it will give you all the waxes all the neon berries all the bitter berries all the glue and the other mats but also all the fruit it's literally op and all that is obviously you know used for buying new stuff and also getting new mutations for your bees because that's really important like i literally done so much puff shrooms i have 37k nearly 40k bitter berries and 7.2k neon berries but that stuff is also used to buy plant of plenty for example but okay for now that is it for the tips as i don't think there really is anything else but if you guys still need help let me know in the comments and i'll try and help you as much as possible and that is if you know if you are thinking you're making a mistake right now if you're thinking you're not really going in the right direction just let me know in the comments and I'm gonna try and help you as much as I can. And thank you so much to LC Fire Dog for helping out with these as well. And I know as well I haven't given that much tips for Endgame, as at that point, I mean, you're just trying to make honey, really. But there will be a whole separate video to it. So make sure to look out for that. And for now, thank you so much for watching and bye!